Well, we're, we're looking at all of it. Uh, that was an interesting situation. You saw the same tape as I saw. And uh, he was trying to get away from them, I guess, it looks like. And he fell. And then they very violently attacked him. And it was something that we're looking at right now, and it's under investigation. But uh, I guess he was in very big trouble. He would have been, I, he probably would have been killed, but it's under, it's under investigation. Do you think private citizens should be taking guns? I'd like to see law enforcement take care of everything. I think everything should be taken care of law enforcement. But again, we have to give our cops back, our police back their dignity. The respect, they're very talented people, they're strong, they're tough, they can do the job, but we've taken it away. We don't want to have, when somebody makes a mistake, he chokes, or in some cases you have bad cops, we have to take care of them. In other cases, they choke. They're under, they have a quarter of a second, a quarter of a second to make a decision, and sometimes they make the wrong decision. If they make the wrong decision, you know if they make the wrong decision in the other direction, they're probably dead. So they choke sometimes, and that goes on the evening news for weeks. And the thousands and tens of thousands of great things they do, nobody covers that, nobody writes about that. But if they make a mistake, and again, the bad cops, everybody agrees they have to be very tough on bad cops. But sometimes you have a cop or a police person who is a good, a good police person, right? Good. But they choke. You know the timing, and they go through this, and they study this, and they work on it all the time. They literally have a quarter of a second to make some of these decisions. And they make a wrong decision, and it's very devastating. But I will say this, uh, I honor law enforcement. We wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for law enforcement. We have to stop this horrible left-wing ideology that seems to be permeating our country. And basically, it's weakness. It's weakness on behalf of Democrat politicians and Republicans, we don't have problems. You take a look at our cities. Our cities are doing very well. They're safe. They're secure. I spent a lot of time in Texas, uh, as you know, just a couple of days ago, and I was with the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott. He was explaining they wouldn't put up with it for a minute. They just don't have the kind of problems that other people have. That that community meeting will take place right here behind me at Grace Lutheran Church in just a couple of hours. But uh, uh, other than that, we really haven't heard much about the details of his trip. We do know this is the first time a presidential Democratic nominee has been in Wisconsin in a long time. Hillary Clinton did not do it during her campaign run, and Joe Biden himself did not visit here during primaries. In fact, he is coming here for the first time today, exactly two months to the day of the election. Now, of course, Joe Biden should have been here in Milwaukee about two weeks ago for the Democratic National convention giving his acceptance speech instead that happened in his home state of delaware as for today's visit even though he's already on the ground we still haven't been given specific details on where he's planning to visit and when as you mentioned he's already met with jacob blake's family something president donald trump did not do after he learned attorneys would be present former vice president biden also plans to have a meeting with local business owners and law enforcement likely at our location here at grace lutheran church that's right now scheduled for 145. Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin says Biden's visit to Kenosha is encouraging towards making progress. He is going to bring a message of unity. He'll listen and he has plans to follow up, not only follow up by passing the George Floyd Leasing and Justice Act of 2020, but following up on all the other things that Wisconsinites care so deeply about. Biden's camp echoed that message from Tammy Baldwin, saying that this can be an opportunity to find common ground for citizens here in Kenosha. In Kenosha, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News. So thank you very much, and we're going to be making a couple of stops. We'll look at some of the damage that was done. We're going to get it fixed up. We're going to help the people rebuild their businesses in Kenosha. And uh, it's just been a great state great people and we're getting it straightened out. The violence has stopped from the time the National Guard came. I mean, literally when they set their foot on this location, it stopped. So uh, we'll see you over there. We're going to do a round table after that. And uh, we'll have plenty to talk about during the day. Thank you very much. Thank you.
America now! America now! America now! Stand up for America now! 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 Stay out the street, folks. Stay out the street.